is Rubia Oxania Mateo, and I am your Miss Universe Focus. The more that you take care of yourself, the better you feel about yourself, and the more good you'll want to do in the world. I used to think that success is achieving my own personal goals. But as I age, I realized that success is best experienced when shared. School is like a national pastime. That's true. In the Philippines, some might say that pageantry is the pastime. That's true. You know what? In the Philippines, we have pageants all over the places. Yes, we have pageants in the barangay, in school, national, local. That's why we really love Miss Universe. It's like it's giving pride and putting the Philippines back on the pedestal. That's why there's an added pressure as a candidate coming from a pageant-loving country. But it's a good pressure. I always look up to our former Miss Universe Philippines. They really did well in the competition. And now this is my time to show who I am, you know, to offer what Rabia can show to the rest of the universe. So I'm very happy. Um, and at the same time, I'm excited to make all my Kababayans proud. And hopefully I do. Why do you think it is that the Philippines love pageants? They have appreciation for people. We do love pageant because we, we used to think that um, we wanted to be included in, in the world, you know. Uh, I have to be honest, in the Philippines, my skin color used to be not the standard of beauty. I was obsessed whitening my skin because these are the kinds of beauty queen we see um, on the mainstream. But things were different now. That's why I'm very proud to be a morena in the Philippines. Um, we call it morena. It's brown skin girl. And to be able to represent, you know, my color, my identity as a true Filipina. Tell me about your journey to being crowned Miss Philippines. That, you know, in a world that, uh, in a country, I should say, that loves pageants, that must have been a very intense process. Tell me about, you know, your journey to being Miss Philippines. Well, my journey was crazy. You know what? I started to be a dark horse. Nobody noticed me. Nobody knows I was in the competition up until the preliminary and the coronation night. And when I won, I received different comments. Of course, there were people who didn't expect me to do well, who think that I cheated. That's why I, I need to redeem myself in Miss Universe. I really need to do well in this competition. And the thing is, I, I love pressure. I love criticism. I get better every day with that. You tell me I cannot do that. I turn to you and I, I'm going to say that, no, I can do it for myself. <laughs> so how does it feel then to be on the global huh? stage? How do you feel to be here in this month right now? It's crazy, but I'm, I'm overwhelmed with the support, not just from the Filipino community, but also from Thailand, um, Latin countries, who do appreciate me as a candidate, as a person. It, it motivates me that I am beautiful, I can offer so much in this world, and when somebody believes in you, it gives you that extra energy to really do well and perform well. I have a different idea about thought it's gonna be very competitive in a healthy way well of course but now I can see every girl helping each other from fixing those hairs from trying to zip up those outfits it speaks of the closeness and the kind of camaraderie that we want to have the goal of Miss Universe is not just to crown one girl but also to build a genuine and long-lasting friendships among us would you say within the Miss Universe world the contestants, is there a sisterhood and your sisters? There, there is sisterhood. I can say I was able to talk to different um, representatives from different backgrounds, different cultures. And despite our differences, there's so much to be highlighted in what um, binds us together. And, and that is because we want to empower women. We want to have our advocacies. We want to speak for the things that we love. And that's, that's a celebration of women and the beauty that we have. So coming out of this week, 
obviously you would love to be crowned Miss Universe. Of course. <laughs> that, that, that would be wonderful, of course, for any of you. But what else will you take out of this week? What do you think you will feel at the end of this week, regardless of the result? How will you be a different person? It's it's the growth and the development that I was able to have during preparing for this dream. I will be honest, there was a moment that I lost my identity because I was put under pressure. I was in that position in which I feel like I'm not good enough. I'm not a good representative of my country, but I was able to bounce back stronger. And if I was able to do that, for Miss Universe, I will be able to do that in life. That is my greatest takeaway from Miss Universe. Okay, so the Philippines have a huge amount of fans. Yes. I want you to give us a little bit of a message to the fans here and at home. But send a message. What would you say to all the fans in the Philippines? To all my fans from the Philippines and from all over the world, Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for loving me and for believing in me. It means a lot to somebody who is so naive in this industry, who has no idea how to become a beauty queen on the first day of my journey. But because of your love and support, I was able to be the woman that I am today. And regardless of the result, I may or I may not win the crown, but one thing is for sure, I'm gonna make you all proud.